Early wildland fires in the Arizona Strip prompted Stage 2 fire restrictions on May 12th. At least two of those fires were human-caused. Our first fire, May 5th, um, that kicked us off, it was called the Hancock Canyon Fire. And typically in that area on the, be uh, on the Beaver Dam slopes, we don't get a lot of fire growth for a lot of acres, but we end up having 109 acres, and that was human-caused. And um, all of our fires right now are under investigation. And then we also have the mine fire just south of St. George here at the Black Rock exit, uh, 65 acres. Um, again, that was human cause. And it was just days after we went into our fire restrictions. Predictions for wildland fire potential is significant in the coming months. With Memorial Weekend just around the corner, fire officials are urging the public to adhere to the newly implemented fire restrictions. Always keep outdoor fire safety in mind. Um, follow all the fire restrictions. Uh, use spark arresters on small equipment and don't use this equipment in areas where fire restrictions are in place. Uh, secure tow chains and check the condition of tires and brakes. And then please don't pull your vehicle off the road into dry vegetation. A year-round fire prevention order already restricts fireworks and explosive devices on all BLM-managed lands within Arizona. And use of firearms is also prohibited during this time. Uh, people are not allowed to discharge firearms on public lands um, unless they're lawfully hunting. Violations of these orders could result in a fine up to $1,000 or imprisonment of not more than a year or both. Those convicted may also be liable for damages as a result. From the Arizona Strip, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.